Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to another edition of Amity of Fact Check Blog. Today I have uh, a Muslim brother from uh, Nigeria, Brother Hassan. Um, I'm Abu Dharab, I think. Um, and we're just going to start with the questions. Um, the, the reason I'm interviewing the, the, this brother is because of Ahmadiyya in Nigeria, what they're claiming. They're claiming to be 2 million. They, they claim there's 2 million Ahmadis in Nigeria. They got all these things going on. People are converting. They're taking the government. They're, they're, they're telling the world all these things. So without further ado, Brother, um, Brother Hassan, who are you? Where are you from? Give us your background. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, I'm glad to have myself uh, interviewed on this channel uh, with my brother. Um, Alhamdulillah, my name is um, Hassan. Hassan. Uh, and my Konya is Abu Abdul Rob. So my father's name is Abdul Latif. So my name is I am known. Uh, I'm several, I'm called Hassan Adidoin. So I'm from Nigeria, uh, from the western part of Nigeria, from the tribe of um, Yoruba tribe. I'm a native of Yoruba. Yoruba and uh, Yoruba. yes, uh, uh, I think uh, my place is the major center, you know, center of Ahmadiyya Jama, uh, the center of Ahmadiyya Jama, majorly in Nigeria, in my country. Uh, and then another thing is. Um, Okay, so uh, I started uh, learning Quran uh, in the madrasa of my dad. Um, after uh, my secondary school, I further I went to, to study in an Arabic college in Lagos, Nigeria, uh, and I studied for six years. I studied Quran, Hadith, Usul Fiqhi, uh, Tafsir, Tajweed, and all the Islamic you know, and all these basic. Islamic knowledge and some other secondary one. Uh, and then uh, after that, I went to finish my memorization. Uh, and on the, on the year 2000, and, uh, I think 2019, I finished my memorization of the Quran. And after that, I went on to study Fiqh and Usul Fiqh. I went further to study Usul Fiqh from one of the uh, prominent scholars we have in our country who uh, obtained his. Uh, doctorate in Sharia, in Fikhu, from the University of Medina. So, and some other things too, that we will learn to further. And after that, I am uh, uh, pertaining to secular, uh, you know, studies. I, I learned programming, I'm a software developer. I develop mobile app and web app and graphic design. I basically, computer science, I'm into that. Um, not, let's just make it brief. That's the other thing. Hold on. Alhamdulillah. Didn't uh, uh, Amnes have a lot of, they, they, they did a lot of tabligh to the uh, Yoruba tribe? Yes. <clears throat> Ahmadiyya, uh, since I've, I've, I've been a child, I've, I've been propagating the religion, the belief, everywhere in my country. Uh, here, where I stay, uh, uh, known as Ko, um, Alagado, is Alagado, uh, is, is a, you know, a certain city in, in Lagos. So they have their uh, headquarters. Uh, according to, uh, in, fact, uh, in fact, last year they celebrated their 100 years in Nigeria and they, they launched a book which I brought here uh, to, 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 to take some text there from. So um, Ahmadiyya has, has been propagating their religion and they used to, you know, they, they used to share their pamphlets, pamphlets of their, you know, series of pamphlets, because here in Alagado, where their headquarters is situated, they have printing press there. So they used to print pamphlets, books, all in, in Yoruba and in, uh, in Arabic and English and Yoruba language. So they used to, you know, disseminate all these things around, they go around to distribute it to people and preach Ahmadiyya. So uh, later, when we finished uh, study. I am the, you know, the Muslim community, and I am one of the you know, scholarly uh, members of the community. So members of the community. So uh, we try to, you know, since we see a lot of all this evangelism and you know, ecclesiastic evangelism. 
So we try to also try to, since then we have been trying to make, uh, you know, do a series of public dawah to enlighten people that they should beware of all these uh, false food, uh, all the, the false food of Maria, and we have, and by the grace of, the grace of God, people have been, have been, you know, getting aware and enlightened about all these things. Got it. Got it. Um, <clears throat> You said the Adedable tribe. Did I say that right? You said what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, uh, do you see it on the screen there? I did. I did do it. Okay. The tribe, Yoruba. The tribe is Yoruba. Yoruba, Yoruba. okay. Yoruba, yes. <clears throat> so you're from the Yoruba tribe, and the uh, Amelia movement has their headquarters. In uh, what was the name of that city you said? Aladadu. 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 Can you spell that? One of their main, one of their, they have one of the main branches in Lagos, in Aladadu here. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Can you spell that for us? A L A. A. L A. G. Are you with me? Yeah. A L A. Can we start over? A L A. Okay. G B A. G B A. A. D is B A. Oh dang it! I keep spelling it wrong. Um, <clears throat> no worries. Let me share my screen, and then I I'm gonna show what I think. What their um headquarters are. Hold on. Let me find it really quick. Oh yeah, right there. All right, so is this the place? It, it, it's uh, it, it was the first no, family of worship. No, 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 no. It should be in Aladadu. They call it. It should be in Aladadu, not this place. You can just scroll down. I've seen. I know this place. I've seen it in this place, right? Where to go? Okay, let me I, let me just show you the place here in the book with me here. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want to? Uh, you can share a screen if you need to. All you have to do is click oh, yeah. that button. Oh, I can just can I just show you the app? I can just know what to do. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, maybe it's not coming up. Uh, I, um, don't worry about it. Let, let me see. Uh, let me show you some of what some of, of my research. Uh, um. Can I show you my screen? No problem. All right. All right. So, look, so look, here we have <clears throat> the first ever Amadea place of worship in Nigeria at 45 Idumagabo Avenue in Lagos. Image. This image. Have you been there? Have you been there? Of course. Name my place. Name where I'm talking about currently. Yo, why is this why such is a this small shack? shack? It's run down. down. It doesn't even look like it's a building. Is a, is a mark. Is a, is a, is a major mark here. Right there, the, the one I'm I'm circling. That seems odd, but but okay. <clears throat> what what about the uh, Bethel uh, Rahim Mosque in Abadan? Have you been to that? Yeah, one? that is what the Rahim Mosque is actually what I'm talking about. Got it. Got it. And but that was barely open 13 years ago. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, correct. And they've they've also started a. Uh, a college there. Let me see if it pulls up. Yeah, here. Of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, this is not the mark. No, not this. Okay. Not this mark. Not this mark. It's not this mark. No worries. No worries. So, okay, then they have another place of worship in in Sabo Quarter. Yes. Then, then the, they opened another uh, place to worship are called the Mubarak Mosque in Abuju. After this mosque is the mosque I'm talking about. Just scroll up. No, up, down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. This. Yeah. Ha, this is actually the mosque I'm talking about. The uh, Tahir Mosque. Yes. Ojokoro. Ojokoro. God. So look. Oh. Uh, capacity is barely 300. Which mm. tells us how many Amdis there are in that area. There's barely enough to fit inside of their place of worship. 
Hey, look, I've written all their place of worship. <clears throat> um, here's another one in, in Lagos. It seems to be a broken building. Your then, um, look, in uh, uh, see this one here? Amadea Central Mosque. Brother, I I'm going to tell you something. The Kalama here, it used to say, uh, you know what, I don't want to say it, but instead of Muhammad Rasulullah, it said Amad Rasulullah. No, I've read some of, the, some, of the, some of the books where he claimed to be the prophet of God. Right. So they added the meme in the last 20 years or the last 30 years once they found out what's going on here. So then I also found Amadea land in various buildings. <clears throat> There's a college in, in Kano. Uh, have you seen this college? No, I've not been this in, this in northern part of my country. I haven't been there. Okay, yep. So they're real keen on opening colleges and, and hospitals, and then they get money from the government. But we're, we're going to get to that soon. Then look, there's Amadea Science College. Look, I, I've been able to track all these and find all these. It seems like they're selling uh, as much as they can sell, whatever they can sell. It, it, it's all a marketing game. And then I, I found other schools, and there's a general hospital in, in Apapa. Yeah, and, that, and in, in Ojokoro, too. Because you have to. Yep, yep. And then uh, they have a Jamia. I think that, uh, yeah, in, I think that. Uh, also. Now, now, here's what I think. Here's what I think. Oh, oh, it's in Ghana. Actually, it's in Ghana. Actually, it's in Ghana. So they, oh, teach they teach Africans or West Africans how to teach English. And these guys are teachers. They're not even really missionaries. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they teach them Arabic and etc. Okay, let me quickly share. Okay. Okay. What's our next question? Our next let, me, question? Let, me, let me get back to the question here. Back to the question here. Um, how many um, Amis are, are, are in your area? area? Um, actually, uh, in my area, Ojokoro, uh, I don't think we have to. We have up to 500. I don't think so. Because uh, that mosque uh, that we, we... Hello? Yeah, I'm listening. So, yeah, I'm listening. Um, I don't really... Sh I, don't, I don't think we have up to 500 Ahmadis here. Particularly, I don't think so, because in fact, as, as to one of the books I read uh, about me, the feature, the, one of, uh, the feature, so uh, they claim to, according to this book with me, you know, they have a book called Centenary History of Ahmadiyya. Centenary History. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Centenary History of Ahmadiyya in Nigeria. So according to this book, they claim to the the Rahim Mosque in Aladalo, they claim to to you know to, to have bought 18 acres of land uh, and then to have built a mosque, a school, a, a hospital, and a lot of other buildings. But in 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 truth, and everybody can see for himself or herself that that place is not up to is not even up to 14 acres. It's not even up to 12 acres. It's just like, you know, uh, like some, they just, you know, got the land, uh, bought the land from two or three different people in the community. But some of the members built houses in some other streets. I don't know if they tried to, you know, add the, uh, you know, square of uh, the, the, the measurement of the land of the, of the other members who built uh, houses elsewhere. But I don't know if they, I don't even understand, but the, 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 the you know, the, the major land where they built their mosque and the hospital is not even up to, let me say, 12 acres. It's not even up to that. Yeah. Because, yeah. <clears throat> so they are not, I don't think they are up to 500 in, in my area here. They are not up to 500. So, uh, and they have, they claim some things. In this book, they say 493 branches established within 100 years. But they celebrated, they celebrated 100 years uh, with this book. So, uh, 403 branches. In fact, some, part of these branches have been, you know, reclaimed by, by the non ahmadis Because, in fact, here in my area, some there's uh, one of the uh, song of those who sold the land to them. Uh, because the person that sold the land to them, 
was a member. So when they were trying to get a place in, uh, they were in Agege before. So when they were trying to get another place in uh, Jokoro area, so that member who had a land in Jokoro came and he sold for, according to the son uh, of the uh, owner of the land, they sold four plots of land, four, four plots of land only. So they went on to other people in the neighbor, in the, uh, close to, you know, the neighboring people that they wanted enough, you know, land. So they just tried to gather some, you know, acres, but not up to 18 at all at all. So um, that man, according to him, claimed that they tried to claim another, uh, another land which doesn't belong to them. And as I'm telling you, there are some lands that have been reclaimed by non Ahmadis, which Ahmadi have tried to claim. You know, first, first, you know, they are trying to, you know, illegally claim the land. So, in in uh, in, in a nutshell, they are not up to they are not up to five hundred in my area. They are not up to that. Right. Well, this is what, they do. this is what they do. And Everywhere I've been, I've been in, you know, I've been in that area for more than 20, 27 years or twenty six. For more than twenty seven yeah. years, yeah. I've been in that area or twenty six years. So they are, in fact, they are not up to five hundred. They are not even up to 400 in my area. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and um, the Amadiya movement the claims 2.5 million, million people are Amadiya in Nigeria. Nigeria. What do you have to say about Nigeria. that? Uh, that, 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 actually, that is actually uh, a lie. That is actually, should I call it, uh, what should I even call it? Is, you know, you just try to, to claim what they do, what, what is not. They try to claim what is not. So how, how can they be up to that? Uh, they can, in fact, okay, if they are up to that, you know how many sects we have in Nigeria? You know how many sects? If Amadiya is carried up to that amount, so how, 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 what will the other people share? The, what is the, with the percentage, with, 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 you know, with, 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 compared to the other large major uh, community of Muslims? So that's the lie from Ahmadiyya. They are not up to that. They are not up to that level. Yeah, so, so I'll tell you the reason. Um, the reason they say this is marketing. They, then they go to the government and they say, look, we're 2 million people and we want our voice to be heard. And we, we want a school and we want this land and, and we want this mosque that someone else built. And look, we're doing all this work and we're, we're saying peace and no jihad. And no Mahdi, and no Isa, and they say, look, they say, look give us land and land give us fuel and, and, and let us operate our business. Our That's why they're doing it. So, so, okay, let's, so, okay, let's, so uh, that, you know, they're just trying to, to seek the pleasure. You know, they, they, these people, they, they, they are like, let me say they are, they are wise enough to to, to, to deny the principle of jihad, you know, to, to seek to, to, in order to get the hand of the non-Muslims, they try to, to use the, you know, the motto, love for all, hatred for all, and there's nothing like jihad, and, you know, there's nothing like uh, fighting, and it's only jihad of pain, all this and that, so that people, the non-Muslims will, you know, will find it, you know, pleased to hear, you know, in order to, so, and these people, they just try to alter the teachings, the Christian teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, of Islam, in order to gain, you know, to gain uh, hand and fame. Now, in fact, this is actually, if, if not 100%, it is 90% disbelief in Allah, in Allah Right, right, right. right. So, so, okay, so next, okay. Question. next question. How many different, How many different types of Amdis are there? Amdis are there? In Nigeria. Oh, in Nigeria. All right, all right. Um, in Nigeria, I think there are up to four or five different sects. Four or five so different sects. Uh, yes, actually. Actually. So, you know, the man that, 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 that played the, the uh, pioneering role of, uh, uh, of Ahmadiyya by the name Madame uh, Augusto. Augusto. So, Augusto. Augusto. I like the bastard Augusto. So, yes, I can see Jubril Martin. Yes, Jubril Martin also, you know, after, you know, this man, Alaji Augusto, 
went to uh, United Kingdom to, yeah, yeah, to got it, Augusto, yeah. He is the person that introduced Ahmadiyya. Let us read. Augusto was a pioneer. I'm reading something there. So he was, he, uh -huh, was a pioneer member of the Ahmadiyya movement. In fact, he is the person. Let me read from this book with me. Let me read sure. from this book. Sure. Hello? Yes, go ahead, brother. Yes, go ahead, brother. Okay. So according to, the, to this book, printed by them, printed by them, Centenary History of Ahmadiyya. According to this book, on page, you know, on, they were trying to uh, narrate the history of Ahmadiyya in Nigeria. And I said how Ahmadiyya was introduced in, into Nigeria. How Ahmadiyya was introduced into Nigeria. So I'm reading for the, from the last column. They say the most well-known and documented account. The most well-known. Sorry, sorry for that. The most well-known and documented account is that which links the pioneering efforts of Al Haji Muhammad Lawal Basil Augusto with the formal establishment of the Nigerian branch of Ahmadiyya movement in Nigeria. So they, with, with this man, they first established Ahmadiyya movement in Nigeria. You get it? So, and now we have a lot of functions. You know, so when this man, Al Haji Basil Augusto, later learned that uh, what he has brought in Nigeria was actually falsehood and disbelief. So after it became clear to him that this Gulam Ahmed, this man claimed to be a prophet and claimed to be the Masih and denied jihad and all of that, you know, all these different teachings that Ahmadiyya hold today. So he, he denounced Ahmadiyya, denounced Ahmadiyya and went to establish another branch called uh, Jamaat, you know, even before, before Jamaat Islamiyah, called it Islamic Association of Nigeria, Islamic Association. So that was the second uh, branch of Ahmadiyya, you know, this, because of this issue they had. So because of this, the people, the people remained in, you know, the Ahmadiyya movement headed by like Jubri Martins, who was the, who was the second uh, uh, Barista lawyer in uh, of in the, in the way in the in West Africa, so there came a certain time, a certain point of time. I don't want to waste our time. I would have liked try like to quote from this book. So it came certain it was it came uh, it happened that one of the you know the uh, the uh, the Amir then asked them to renew their bias. You know the, you know the bias their oath of allegiance. How, are you with me? Okay, so their oath of allegiance. So they were asked to renew their oath of allegiance, and this call, they, you know, they, they found it as what 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 was what obtained disease. So and the thing was, you know, made compulsory, and Ahmadiyya had to, you know, split again. They said later Ahmadiyya split in, in 1930. In 1930s, Ahmadiyya split over foreign. Over issue of foreign control, that is, the 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 branch in Pakistan, in the Lahore, in their in their headquarters in India, you know, they just mandated it that, that all of them should renew their bias. So, and all this for this, you know, foreign control, they didn't want to get control like that. So they just tried to leave Ahmadiyya movement again, and they tried to split into another sanction, which is called independence. Independence. Now independence. Yes. Yeah. We are now independent from the Ahmadiyya movement of Nigeria, of Nigeria. So Ahmadiyya had to get another leader, another Amir, for the Ahmadiyya movement. So now we have three of them. Later, Alaji Basil Augusto went to change the name from the Ahmadiyya Association, Association of Ahmadiyya to Jamaat Islamiya. Association of Islam to Jamaat Islamiya. Then after that, we still have some other sanctions apart from that, that later split. Because it, it happened that in the 1960s, in the, uh, in the, what was it, 1973, so Saudi Arabia, you know, ban, you know, make, a, you know, an official ban. The, you know, all, anybody that is an Ahmadi were bound from coming to Mecca to perform Hajj. So now the Nigeria government in, in the next year, they tried to, you know, make a resolution to this. And they tried to tell them that you can just go to Hajj in another name, not in the name of Ahmadiyya. And this alleged, you know, owing to the internal 
uh, you know, pause within them. So they had to split again because we cannot go to uh, Mecca because we are, not, we, are, we are not Muslim or because of what. So some of them who had the pure and truth mind, you know, some of them who were truth minded, they were, they were like, what could have happened? Are we not Muslim? If Saudi Arabia could have banned us from coming to Hawaii, that means there's something behind. So they, they went, they left Ahmadiyya and they were called the Anwarul Islam. Anwarul Islam. Like, in fact, here in uh, Ojokoro, Anwarul Islam had one of their biggest schools in Ojokoro and branch here in Ojokoro. And these people, uh, I've been with them for long. They actually, they, you can never ha see a trace of Ahmadi teaching. They actually inclined to the teaching of Sunnah, of the teaching of the Ahl Sunnah. Uh, and then uh, this Anwar Islam, <clears throat> most of their schools now are being controlled by the government. So, and in fact, should I tell you something? Where sure. the, the school, the, you know, the, the major land of Ahmadiyya, their school and their hospital and their, you know, mosque, that place, that uh, Rahim Mosque is actually opposite of this Anwar Islam school. <laughs> they are just they are just opposite to one another. So they, in fact, they, <laughs> it's very it's very funny. It's very it's very you know uh, something very you know uh, fascinating to hear. And, ironic. Um, you, you say it's very uh, ironic. Ironic. <laughs> and they, they're in the same business. So uh, of course they came from. They, in fact, they can they you can hardly see one a member. In the compound of the other member of the opposite member. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that, that's all about it. So okay, brother. Um, okay, next, brother question. Uh, next question. Okay. Um, have you read have Fisher, the famous book about Ahmadiyya and West Africa? Oh, uh, of course. I I do a lot of uh, I do. Let me do not let me do not let me say not. Uh, I don't want to say a lot, but at least I do some research, some research. You know some you know uh, ground you know, ground grounded researches deep researches on uh, Ahmadiyya Jama, and basically I go to the Rahim compound where they have their printing press uh, uh, factory how come it's a complex as, as the term it's complex I go there to buy books but since the time we had the first debate with them the first debate since the time we had the first debate I've, I've been careful of going to that place by myself. So I used to send people to go and get me books from there. So actually, I used to read books of the Ghulam Ahmed, a lot of their, you know, a uh, lot of, according to the all videos I've made on YouTube, you see a lot of their books on my table. Uh, that's why I used to read from their own source. That, so, but I tried to read Fisher. I have not read Fisher thoroughly, but something that I read, uh, I've read uh, that uh, Fisher tried to claim uh, and I confirm it, I compare it with what I have here, and I'm seeing something similar, very, very similar, like, like I mentioned the other time. So uh, uh, I've read Fisher, so I don't know what actually you want to ask about what I read. No worries. Um, no worries. Um, the next question, next question is actually I, what I want to ask you. Uh, why did well, I, have some, I have something that I, that I, 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 I read. So in, um, there's something, uh, according to the spread, spread of Ahmadiyya, in the book, the review of religion, and that is that's it. That's it. It's not even a book. It's a it's a magazine that at least I have four four of the magazines with me here. It is me in my house, but I'm actually in my, in, my, in my mosque here. So in the book, a review of religion. So the one printed in September 1950, in page 57. So we, we read something, that, and I think if I can have the time to just quickly read this thing out. So it is claimed that one of the uh, members went, you know, the spread of Ahmadiyya, I think, in, in Gambia. So when they tried to observe the eight prayer, and most people, you know, they came out to observe the prayer with them. So you know, like they was, it was, it was not a permanent prayer, prayer, the praying site of Ahmadiyya. So they had a lot of difficulties praying there, like you know. Like, so they tried to just to manage it. So after you know observing the prayer. So this uh, Ahmadi member, uh, you know, stood up uh, and then gave the sermon and tried to, and he told people to, you know, give the, the you know, donations so that they can, Ahmadiyya can get a land there. And 
he wrote something that I, I would like to uh, read out. It's the, person, the, the brother that, that is, this Ahmadi brother is called Fadlul Din. Fadlul Din. He said, mm-hmm. I was selected to deliver the sermon and I asked the congregation, I asked the congregation to, to you know, uh, to send contributions to Qur'an, and they made a liberal response to my appeal. I am glad to tell you that the government has been pleased, at least the British government, according to the context of the, of the, of the book. The British government, the government has been pleased to grant a plot of ground for the erection of a mosque with the additional gift of 4,000 acres of land, 4,000 acres of land, for the expenses connected with the mosque. So, and actually, you can find this in the uh, page 355 of the, uh, you know, of the book, of the magazine, the Review of Religion. And the magazine is one of the, you know, the, one of the, the magazines I know, Ahmadiyya has up to seven magazines that are, that are very famous. Some of them are written in English, some of them in Urdu, and some of them in Arabic. At least I have two or three of them with me that I use in my lecture. So, it, so I can think from there, Fisher claimed, um, it's something that even has similar thing here in the book I'm holding here because we've got time. So that the Ahmadiyya in, in one of the way or other, they are being you know, you know back up by the, with the by the British government. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned that uh, and we were stopped from doing the Hajj from Nigeria. Uh, um, did you read the famous yes. book by by X M Z? I'm showing it here. Doctor Ismail. Balogan, 1975. Yes, I've read something about it, about the man. I'm, I'm very, I'm very pleased with the man's, the, uh, you know, denouncing or rejecting the faith of Ahmadiyya. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased to have read that. And look, he and he look, wrote. He, a he, wrote he was a professor at the uh, at University the, uh, of Ibadan. Yes, yes, yes. And, of course. and he taught and, and he Islam, Islam and Arabic. And Arabic. Of course. And the no. Ahmadiyya's opt, Ahmadiyya right. opt, 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 right. Ahmadiyya so, opt, right. okay, so opt, uh, these are one of the, you know, uh, uh, prominent people in Ahmadiyya that have left Ahmadiyya, these are Dr. Ismail Ibi Balogun and, uh, and, uh, and the Barista Augusto, Barista Augusto, and some other prominent members too that left Ahmadiyya because of the heresy that they later discovered. Yep, and yep, one, and more, thing. one more thing. Uh, in 1922, the Ahmadiyya movement stole the um, Aripopo Mosque from the Quranic people in Lagos. Yes, I, in fact, they mentioned this incident in the book I just, you know, I view, I just, I, I have, you know, displayed on the screen here. And yep. you know what happened? Yeah, Hello, do you know what happened? Yeah. Ahmadiyya, yeah. According to, in my own view, owing to you know a lot of research, owing to some of the researches I've made, and uh, I saw that Ahmadiyya got the chances they, they had, owing basically because the scholars, the people who were claimed to be scholars then, had no ground knowledge of their doctrine, so they had no, they had no, you know, they, they didn't have enough evidence to to to, to deny the falsehood. So they had a lot of, you know, a lot of debates in, in front of some of the ballets. Like ballets are people, you know, they're like, they're like sharp scenes. They're like, you know, the people, the rulers, let me just say rulers, rulers in the country. So they had a lot of debates and the scholars won't have a lot of, you know, and because, you know, it's because of the Sunnah, because of Sunnah that came to Nigeria, made people to, made, you know, the understanding of Islam now very vast and widespread. Before the arrival of Sunnah, the understanding of Islam is very little. And, you know, these people, they had no genuine, you know, uh, 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 evidence to, to deny the falsehood of Ahmadiyya in front of... Oh. Yeah, no worries. While uh, uh, that brother does that, <clears throat> let me share my screen and show another um, situation. Um, the brother was, was talking about Augusto and Martin, right? Check this out. In 1931, let me pull it up. 1934, Augusto faced off against Martin about a mosque, and Martin won. So, 
So Augusto, you, you can read all about him. He started the Jamaat al Islamiyah of Nigeria, and he died in 1971. <clears throat> so, okay. So this is a story in Nigeria. There's barely any Amdis. I, my estimates are maybe a few thousand. There's barely any Amdi Murabis working in the country. What do they do? They, they, they get government funding for schools, for, for, uh, for hospitals. They'll build a school, hospital, and a mosque. And they're like, we're teaching people English. We're teaching people how to not do jihad, how to not be no Messiah, no Madi, nothing. So they're getting money in the government. And Nigeria is a puppet government of the British. There's no independence. With the amount of oil that was found in Nigeria, they should be rich, but they're not. So, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like I've lost them. That's our cue. We covered everything anyways. With that being said, assalamu alaikum and peace out.